All right, everybody. Welcome, my guest, to Humane Designs. Even though I'm taking a break, working on my 2010 Chevy Camaro 3.6. Today, I'm going to shoot a quick video because I think I shot a video a while back on direct injection. You can check uh, my other video out on how that all works. But I had a request on how to get the fuel rails out of a 3.6 and injectors out of a 3.6. So I didn't shoot that video. Luckily for you, I blew my motor up again. <laughs> I'm going to do another video on that. So if you ever change out a 3.6, make sure you uh, pump the system up with oil. There's a plug on the side. I'm going to go ahead and shoot a quick video of that. There's a lot of LSs out there that show how to purge the air out and pump in oil. So that'll be maybe tomorrow or the next day. But today I want to go ahead and touch base on this. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I already did most of the work. I kind of put it back together and I'm just going to show you a quick video so it doesn't take so long. So anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the Camaro and I'm going to show you the motor missing and then we're going to go ahead and get into the fuel injectors and the rails. All right. So here's the car. I uh, get see if I can't zoom this out. There we go. There's the car. There is uh, no motor in it. So if you're going to do this in the motor, this will also work, but I'm putting another motor in it. Don't mind the mess. So this is virtually what you have when you're going to go ahead and stare at your car. So this is pretty easy to take off. One, two, three, four, five bolts on the top that I know of. And then there's two on the back to hold in the plate. So for saving time wise, I already took all these out. This cover is going to be staying on here when you're in the car. And then, like I said, these are all out. These are all out. So what you'll do is you'll actually just pull this up. It's hard to do this one-handed. I should have went ahead and sent the video. Like I said, it's a little hard to do with one hand. So I should have set the video camera up. But I kind of wanted to get you guys to an advantage where you can see exactly what I'm doing. So it's a little tough to do this. So pull the cover off or intake off. Set that to the side. Like I said, sorry about the quality of the video. But this is what you're going to basically see underneath there. You're going to see this harder plastic thing. And then, let me grab this. I'll set this back up here. So this is going to be covering your direct inject. It comes from the fuel pump. And then from the fuel pump to the direct inject. The direct inject then boosts it up through a pump to like... I don't know. I hate to make these numbers up. They're probably wrong. 2,000 some pressure. So that's where all that is. That's on the back. That's the actual pump. It goes into your valve cover. It runs around one of your cams and takes the pressure up. So I'm going to take this and put this to the side. But you can leave that on. You don't have to have that off. So once you take the top off, all this is is a foam insert. Pull this foam insert up and out of here. All it does is protect, heat, shield the whole nine yards. So we'll pull that up and out of there. Okay. And that's where your direct inject is at. Set this to the side. Sorry. Like I said, once again, sorry about the quality of the video. This is my fault. I should have maybe set the camera up in the stand. Okay, now you're going to get in here and you're going to want to get a 17 millimeter wrench. Okay. 17 millimeter wrench fits on these. Now, you might still have fuel pressure in these. So... Here's the bleeder. Make sure you bleed this, but you still might have some. Just watch your eyes. And like I said, you're going to break all these loose, all four of these. I already did that to save time. So that's all it is. You can't mix them up. That's the U. And then this is the back one that goes to the actual pump to the fuel rail. Like I said, 17 millimeter, crack these things loose. They will come right out just like such. Set those to the side. Now, once you get into here, I already took some of this stuff off. I'll go ahead and take the valve covers off real quick. But I just wanted to do a video of you guys seeing it together. So you're going to have bolts the whole way down through here. But the kicker is, is you have your fuel pressure sensor, which is very valuable. Let me see if I can't turn the... I can't. So anyway, this here, it's just pull and clip, unplug it. Now, this is the problem. It is down here at a weird angle, and it's actually threaded on here. So, what I found was inch and a sixteenth would fit it. It doesn't fit it good because it gets wedged 
in here. But it fits it good enough at the angle that you can turn it. And you can get that thing out and broke loose. Once you break it loose, you can take it out with your finger. Spin it out. So you really only need to get around that with the inch and sixteenths. I tried a wrench to get down in here. And it was tough because the angles, and this thing is like a Chinese puzzle. So anybody getting frustrated with this, I get it. But pull this out first. There'll be a zip tie in here. You want to cut that zip tie loose. There'll be another one down in there. But this needs to come out first. Then I found, uh, where's it at? Okay. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight four side bolts holding the fuel rail in and what you're going to do is you want to get a shallow shallow let me see what size that is of course i ain't going to zoom in i'll just tell you it is a 13 millimeter this is going to go down in here and you're going to take every single one of those out like I said, I already saved time by taking them out, but this is how you're going to, you know, crack it loose and go down through and get all of them out. There's a little plastic insert. Leave that in there or leave it on your bolt. And then you're going to go take all four of these out. Four on this side, four on this side. See how tight everything is in there? So these are going to come out. You're going to have four of them on each side. There they are. Four and four. Now, the fun part. I'm hoping I can do this one-handed. Like I said, I should have set up a... All right, sorry, trying to figure out my phone. Now the light's on. <laughs> All right, so now when we look down inside of here, at the end of the fuel rail is a little metal clip. You can push them down and pop them off. So I'm gonna set the phone right here. Hopefully you can see this. So I can take this here chisel. Well, you don't have to use a chisel, you can use a screwdriver. And you should be able to push down and those should pop right out of there. All this is a little clip. My dog. All right, back to what I was doing. So to get them out, remember when you take these out, it's a one-time use only. So you've got to replace all the bushings. I'll show you there's a kit. So down inside, you're gonna see when you try to pull these up, there's a little tiny clip on the very top of the injector a little metal clip when I pull it up out you'll see it you're going to push pop that one and you're going to push and pop this last one like I said you'll see there's a tiny little metal injector in here once I pull it up out I'll show you what I'm doing but as you push you should be able to pop them out okay so now that I pop the injector out of the fuel rail I should be able to take and turn this at this angle and pry it back out. So there's one fuel rail out. And now you'll see the injectors down in here. And you'll see there's a tiny little metal thing on the top. I'll pull it out here in a second and show it to you. So these are all together. Now I'm gonna pull this side out. It should be easier because I got the other side out. All right, that's out, that's out. Now these should pull, now you can probably pull this whole section up by itself. Alright, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do these fuel injectors. Sorry if I put a bunch of videos together. This is your fuel rail. It's going to go down in here like this. Sorry, my video is terrible. Okay, I'm going to back up. There's the fuel rail. There's the bottom. It's going to go down in here just like this. I'm going to go ahead and line these up. You'll look down in there, you'll see the little blue things. See them? You're going to line those up with the insides. And once you do that, those little things are going to line up all three the whole way across. Okay, then you're going to snap them in until you hear them click. And then you're going to bolt these down through. So, you can take and put your fuel rail in. One side, you can take and put your fuel rail in the other side. And when you bolt them down in, you gotta make sure they line up with the little blue things. Like I said, this seems impossible, but it is not. This, I take the fuel rail and bend it the whole way up. See how I did that? 
that gets it in the front notch and then it'll slide down in there nice and neat so the trick to this is you try to pull it out it's going to hit right here so the trick to this one is, is you're going to put a screwdriver and pop the blue seal out pop the blue seal out pop the blue seal out with a screwdriver and press down and then take an angle the whole way up out and it comes out just like that that'll be that one and then once you get that one out this one here comes out easy that's the other side now once you're here like i said they're out of the way now this is what you're going to have this is what's going to look like down in there you're going to have a fuel rail and a fuel rail these are cables you should know just to pull it up out put your hand down on the other side and if you got to grab the wire but you should be able to pop them out the whole injector on that rail on the plastic rail will actually come out it's not exactly easy but it will pop out make sure you get the wires up out everything up out little by little just work them out and that's how you're going to install them too you're going to have to rebuild them because they have a crush seal on it here's your crush seal there's your teflon nylon which heats up one time when you put these down in this crushes one time so you can't reuse any of this stuff there's a kit i got mine through rock auto and do yourself a favor make sure you know what side came off what side actually you better off just leaving it here until you get your rebuild kit do one side at a time and set it back in here now like i said same with the other side you're going to wiggle just a little bit same with this side if you can't get it you can always get one of these tools and reach down in here and grab either the injector or the plastic rail and you're going to work it up out of here little by little I'm just going to pry up on it it should pop out same with this one come to the center pry 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 yep see they all popped out now what you're going to do is you're going to work this plastic up through here again just like you did the other side i'm doing this one-handed so if you put the camera down it should be easier and like i said installs the same way you got the plastic rail you rebuild everything you're going to stick that back down inside you're going to wiggle it all back inside. You're going to line everything back up. You're going to pop it all back in. So, best thing to do is pull these out, separate them. Keep them in where they need to be. Get yourself your rebuild kits for your injectors. Like I said, I have another video about the rebuild. And that's how I pulled them out. Hope this was informative. Hope I didn't make it too confusing. I just want to let you all know there is a way to do this. And if you take your time, this is what you're going to end up with. Good luck.